Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Teachable checkout pages and some of the edits that you can make to them. If you would like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, not only can you log in, but if you haven't gotten started, you can test out Teachable for free. So where I am in this specific section on the left side, we have courses. Make sure once you've already created a course, you click on it and you're going to come to this and once you get here, you'll notice there's a few pages that you can edit. We're going to be focusing on the checkout page here. And before we do, I do want to show you a cool little way to improve conversions as they talk about. Normally, it's just going to allow Stripe where you can take payments through card. But if you want to improve conversions at checkout, it says convert more potential customers to students by enabling PayPal at checkout, exclusively available on Teachable back office. So you can enable this. It's available for a 2% transaction fee and we'll enable it for your entire school. So if you want to do that, all you need to do is simply click on that button. So this is something I remember doing a long time ago where I didn't want to just accept PayPal. Heck, I wanted to accept cards too. And that's a much better way because people will be able to pick and choose what they want to utilize. So for example, if they want to pay card and that ability isn't there, not the best thing. Same thing, vice versa. So it's always good to have multiple options. What I want to do is click on the checkout page here and click edit. So when it comes to having a specific page, there's not a whole lot that you can edit. There are going to be some extra things that you can utilize here. We have testimonials, which are going to be optional. Demonstrate social proof to increase sales conversions. You can add up to two testimonials. Here's an example of what that would look like. And of course, if we scroll down a little bit more, we can have some bullet points. Reinforce your course's value proposition to close the sale. Add up to five bullets. You can see some examples right here. And of course, there is going to be a course guarantee, which is going to be optional. And of course, offer prospective students a money back guarantee to remove the barrier to purchase. There's a few example here. And of course, if you want to do it, yours right there, and you can also upload a custom one. So what I just want to do is show you what it looks like before this. And then what I'm going to do is just add in some of these to see how it improves it and how it looks. All right, so here we are. Remember, this is just like the test product. So there isn't an actual image for it. That's where that would be. We have the affiliate blueprint, $97. As you can see, we now have PayPal here. So you can do PayPal or card. Once again, I think that's pretty beneficial. It allows your customers to use which one is going to be best for them instead of just making them choose a card, right? Billing address. And of course, buy now, there's going to be two spots for it. So overall, pretty clean, pretty simple. And let's spiffy it up a little, right? So let's go back over here. What I'm going to do is add in a testimonial. So let me get a quick picture of myself. I'm going to add some information in there and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so this is going to be our testimonials heading. Here's what the owner of Marketing Island had to say, right? This is just for one. If there's going to be more, I would change that around. Let's put the name. And of course, just our random testimonial. And so let's put this is the perfect guide for quickly getting up and running on a shoestring budget. I do want to utilize the other one. So I'm just going to click save. There's our preview. Great. And okay, so now we have our bullet points. So this says here are some of the perks you're getting. You know, you can do something like don't forget about the big benefits. Let's do that. Here you can also talk about some of the biggest aspects of your course, right? Not only just the benefits, what it's going to do for them, but the result. And of course, like the bonuses that we'll be getting, you know, for the next X amount of days, whatever it's going to be, right? It's it's your course, whatever's the juiciest aspect of it. It's a good idea to remind them right here. So watching over my shoulder as I show you every single step, you get a case study and of course, maybe some coaching calls. So let's hit save here. It's going to update the preview. Very good. And of course, you know, if you wanted to use your own, let's see something that kind of matches what I might have. Let's go with this one. I like this one. And let's click on save. So and just like that, let's actually preview it again and see what it looks like when we add it in our custom checkout content. Okay, so everything is going to look similar a little bit until we scroll down. As you can see, once again, PayPal and card, we have our price billing. And of course, right down here, this is where it says, here's what the owner of Marketing Island had to say. Don't forget about the big benefits and a nice 30 day money back guarantee. So of course, you can probably change that around if you want to make something similar to your branding or your colors, that's going to be up to you. But overall, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, I like the fact that there's not a whole lot to edit because with this, I pretty much just want to give them the ability to pay for it and have those nice extra little perks is great instead of having to worry about every single little detail. I know some people out there will want to edit everything possible, but I think this is just fine, especially when it comes to a checkout page. Something like this works fantastically. It's clean and simple. And of course, adding a few more details can certainly help, especially when it comes to taking PayPal and card. That's something I would recommend checking out, especially if you're selling a lot of courses that could certainly help you increase your conversions. Even though there's a small transaction fee, I think it's worth it in the long run. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you got a good value out of this when it comes to setting up the Teachable checkout pages. And of course, if you want to check out Teachable, the link for the free access will be down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.